Hi guys, it's uh, Chris here from Tech Tablets with the Cubi 7 Stylus Core M 5Y10 running some Grand Theft Auto 5 here. You can see indoors here that the frame rates are actually okay, um, but that's probably about as good as it's going to get running this game here. Sorry to get people's hopes up, but I mean, there it's around 30 frames per second, which is okay, but watch this. Step outside and it's around 15, 16. So not ideal frame rates there, quite low, but uh, you know, it's running the game, which is something to be said. You can see the old frame rate there is definitely tipping down a few stutters. I mean, nine frames per second there. It's too low, really. So if I just get through a couple of views here, I mean that inside view might give us a few more frames per second there with driving. And our old is looking around outside here. Yeah, it's kind of playable, but it's just very stuttery. See, I start getting a little bit crazy with a gun and whatnot. Let's see how things start to slow down. It's still very slow there, 9 frames per second. Okay, so see what happens when the cops come and how slow things are going to get here. So it's averaging really around 10 frames per second here. Whoa, okay, it's just crashed on me, so there we go. Something's gone horribly wrong here. It's just had an error. Now the system does get awfully hot just on the left side here, around here in the middle behind here. Now I've got the light off at the moment, so there's no reflections on the screen. But yeah, I've completely lost the game here. Completely jammed up. So that's a look at Grand Theft Auto 5 there running in the Cube i7 Stylus. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in some of my up and coming videos. Bye for now.